Talk new tonight. Elgin police have revealed the exact charges that they will be bringing against Fetty, Freddie Grant, the man who is the prime suspect in the murder of Adriana Lester. Lester's remains were identified days ago after being found in a grave at a sand pit in Richland County. She'd been missing for more than 12 years. Grant is the same man who was convicted of killing 15 year old Gabby Swainson back in 2012. News 19 Zoe Henry has been working on this story now for days and joins us tonight with the very latest developments. We found some uh, bones and they told me where they were at. It, it hit me at that point. That's Freddie Grant. Tuesday morning, the Elgin Police Department released all the charges it plans to file against Freddie Grant, the man accused of murdering Adriana Laster. On the list are murder, domestic violence and kidnapping. The agency said in a statement, the date for the warrants to be delivered has not been scheduled. Richland County Sheriff Leon Lott says there's time since Grant is already behind bars. He's in the Department of Corrections, so it's not going anywhere. And they've been aware that we've had the warrants, so they have a hold on him. It's just administrative stuff now, getting the warrants there and then getting them officially served on him. Sheriff Lott says the department was able to have Grant moved from a minimum to a maximum security facility on Friday. Once Grant is served his warrants in prison, the judicial process will begin, but it could take longer than expected. Uh, there'll be um, probably go in front of the grand jury and then eventually they'll be set for trial, which was probably no time soon because the solicitor's office is that backed up now already with other murder cases, so it's no hurry. He's not going anywhere. Grant is currently serving 30 years in prison for killing Gabby Swainson, and Lott is hoping for another conviction in this case. Oh, I, you know, he should be there for life, you know, that, but I don't have any control of that. That's just my personal feelings that he should never see daylight again as a free man. Zoe Henry, News 19, WLTX. And today, News 19 reached out to the Fifth Circuit Solicitor's Office, who did confirm to us that no court dates have been set yet since the warrants have not officially been served.